see that far. There we go. I think we're on, everybody. Um, hey, everyone, it's me, Adam Ratliff. You know me, Adam's so fun. You're like, what's today? Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? He said he wasn't going live. Surprise! We're not really live. It's April Fool's. Just kidding. So I'm here with my friend Kay. We're going to be laughing a lot because that's what we do. If you can't tell, okay, quilting. He works for me now. I work for her now. My new boss. I'm here with the new boss. I'm not even going to tell him it's a joke because I'm going to start getting messages. Um, by the way, if you have questions and you put them into the chat, I can't see them because my computer's way over there. So yeah, you can ask and you just won't get an answer. Um, so Kay, tell us a little bit. Kay is a national educator for Handy Quilter. That's how we know each other. But tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I grew up in Maine and I've lived in Utah for 30 years. And I actually made my very first quilt in 1989, which was probably before Adam was born for next day. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I still have that quilt upstairs, which is just kind of fun. And but I kind of got into quilting just like a lot of people did, you know, as a stress relief. When my son joined the Marines in 2014, I started making like two, three quilts a week. I was just, oh. <laughs> and so that's how, uh, you know, after you start paying three long armors to keep up with you, <laughs> all of a sudden it's like, hmm, maybe I should buy out one of these machines. So that's how I ended up in the long arming world. Uh, yeah, and then when you got your long arm, did you ever think, well, you're a teacher. Yeah, so I was the high like, school band director. At least you like, yeah, we're already teaching. I say, did you ever think you'd be a teacher? But yeah, oh, teaching's my joy. I love <laughs> teaching. It's just what I'm teaching. Yeah, so I was actually a high school band director for 20 years. You know, I was never in band. Yeah, well, you, but I always like. You could have been one of the cool kids. I would have. I was still a cool kid. Thank you. <laughs> I was still a cool kid. Thank you. Um, no, you know, Ben plays uh, piano and he plays viola and violin. Oh, cool. And um, the piano has been broken since we moved back to Palm Springs. The movers broke it, so oh. we have to get it fixed. But when we had, when we bought our first house, we had this chaise lounge that his parents bought us. So um, the, back when I was drinking, this is also like 10 <laughs> years ago. God, God, probably 15 years ago now. Um, we had this chaise that sat next to the piano. So he would like go start to play and I'd come in. I'd say, stop playing. I'm going to make a martini. And then I would go make a martini and I'd sit in his chaise lounge while he played. <laughs> I have the dogs in my lap. <laughs> so when I was in college, I was terrible at piano. I never took piano lessons as a kid. I was a clarinet major. And my piano teacher was like, oh, you are terrible. And I said, it's OK, because I'm going to marry someone who plays piano. And I did. My husband is Ed is a fabulous piano player, and he plays organ. And yeah, so that's that's fun. I love to listen to him play, too. Are you on TikTok? Yes. Do you get the organist? Um, Anna Lackwood? Yes! yes! She's so oh, my awesome. gosh. She's so good. We love you, Anna. Anna, you know, I, if you, Anna Lapwood, if you ever come around and find this, just say like, hi, Adam, so fun. Hi, OK, okay Quilty. Quilty. Like, I would die. I would die. Like, and her outfits are the best. Oh, yeah. But I love when she's playing and she's, she's, she's see her oh, legs. Yeah. You can't see my legs, but I'm playing that organ right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Ben told me one day, he goes, Oh my gosh, you have to watch this organist. I'm like, seriously. He's like, but let, the beat's going to drop. And then I'm like, hey, we're still here. Something happened to the camera. Give us a second. Technical difficulties. It's weird. Uh, settings, camera. I just, I'm getting text. Your camera went black. <laughs> Thanks, Bryce. We have, you have good helpers. I do have good helpers. They're, you know, quilters will always tell you when something goes wrong. <laughs> have you ever noticed that? Yeah. But. Oh, but I'm not in. Oh, I turned it off. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. What's going on? You guys, it's not my first, it's my first day. It's, <laughs> it's my first that's day. Right. It is your first day. My uh, boss is going to fire me. You might get fired. <laughs> fixed it. Fixed it. Hot mic. Got a hot mic. We're going to add this one. We're going to remove that one. 
Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> you might have to have a pay cut after that. I don't know. <laughs> We're back. We're going. Uh, this is your first rodeo. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> um, I can't even remember what we're talking about. Organists. We're talking about Anna. Like Anna. she's our friend. Oh, we go way back. Anna. Me and Anna. About three months. Awesome. Um, I love how like with this is this is what happens when we get together. It's like you're talking about one thing and then we're like totally on a tangent. Uh, we are quilters. We are. We are. <laughs> so, um, Kay. So, <laughs> Kay is one of the fun ones. You'll get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're here and she lives um in the salt lake area i was driving in today i'm not going to tell you the town you'll be a stalker but um i was driving in today i have a gate it's okay they can't get to me <laughs> i don't know why i whispered <laughs> um but i was driving in today and it's the most beautiful i was like i bet you if there wasn't cloud cover it would just be snowy mountains which is like Oh. I don't know why in my head I didn't think there was going to be this. There was going to be snow. Our snow's melted off. Um, yeah. No, it's really beautiful here. You don't have the palm trees we have, though. No, that's true. No. But we just travel a lot to go see them. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for like five weeks. Uh, so <laughs> we're in front of this special quilt. So, okay, tell us about this special quilt. I got to see what that says. I, okay, so this quilt, I got a phone call a few years ago from my my bonus daughter, Dania, and she's like, she works for a production company. They make TV shows and stuff. And she said, can we use your house to film a show? It's about quilting and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, fine. You can always use my house for anything. She's like, I said, who's it for? And she's like, I don't know. And she called me about three weeks later. And she's like, okay, we, this is the date we're going to do this event. And she said, the lady's name is Jenny Doan. And I went, what? <laughs> and she's like, do you know her? And I said, no, but of course I know of her. And so long story short, Jenny was here for a whole day. She used my sewing machine. She was up in my sewing room and she, the whole house got turned around. It was crazy. And um, part of the, the, this show will probably never be seen. It was going to be for PBS, but I think that, you know, money got in the way, but anyways, this was the this was the quote. So Jenny actually sewed this block, and when she left, she saw Jenny I, original. Yeah, she said, "Kay, I left you all the extra fabric," and I was like, "Okay." And I knew it kind of wasn't my vibe. You know, this is kind of vintagey looking, and I'm not really that kind of scrappy type of person. But during COVID, I got really bored, and I put this together. So she made this block, and she made some of the HSTs, and then I made the rest, and three of these were hers and one was mine and i just put it together and then i free motion feathers and stuff and just had fun with it and so i it, it's my jenny and me quilt so it's just got kind of a fun story okay so i have to tell you because now that i'm looking at it i know some of these fabrics these are this is now mammy fabric it might be i don't spread that down on this. because i made i used this in a um sew together bag for my mom oh that's fine and i'm like oh my gosh you know who would like his quilt mickey Oh yeah, this is there is. Thing. I mean, if this were beige, she'd like it more because it's her That's favorite right. color. But um, and there's some beige in it. I think she'd like it. <laughs> her favorite color is beige, <laughs> like Kansas in the summer. Um, is it but it's kind of fun, yeah. So all the quilts I have hanging out down here, most of them kind of have a story attached. Mm -hmm. So, but this one's kind of fun. We're in just one of her studios. I know. It's I'm sad. I am in a fifteen by fifteen room. And she has three. Did, what did you do? Did she do four? Three. <laughs> if we count my studio in Maine, I, would, I have... Oh, you do have the studio, the studio in, Maine. in Maine. And if we count the studio in the uh, RV... Well, yeah, that that's usually just me hauling one of these machines or having Mr. Ed haul one of these machines <laughs> down to the motorhome. <laughs> You know, when I, I hope the thing still works when we go to the other room. It should. No, because we're like, yeah, I know no, so. it's going to be fine. Um, okay, so Kate, tell us anything else you want to um, tell us about yourself before we do a tour. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I, I love pro stitch. I love teaching. I mean, teaching is yes. really my gig. And I love pro stitcher. And I, but I started with free motion. I was actually a free motioner. I'm going to show you the On my domestic machine. 
And uh, so that was fun. And I don't, I'm not a show quilter. That's not really my game. I'm really all about teaching people to make quilts that they can uh, share with friends and family because I just believe in, in, I do hashtag love in every stitch. I just want, I want people to kind of blanket their friends and family with quilts and you know, I, I, the quote that I have on right now is going to some one of my friends that's got cancer. And that that's what my kind of quilting. My husband laughs hysterically. He's so rude when people <laughs> say, do you sell your quilts? And he's like, no. <laughs> she just gives them away. Uh, but, but I mean, <laughs> but most of us do that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Not if you sell them, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, no. I feel like... Um... For what you'd have to charge, even if you oh, just yeah. charge for supplies and didn't charge for the long army on top of that, most people would still be shocked. My sister in law oh, wanted a quilt, and um, it was, I made the Tula Pink Anchor, which like 620 squares, you know, and um, she's like, We make one for my mom. I'm like, I will make it for free. I will do everything, but you have to buy the fabric and you have to pay for the long arming time because my machine was going to be down, and that's what I long arm for other people. And, um, and I'm like, fabric's gonna be about like 500 bucks. And she goes, never mind. <laughs> you know, it's just people don't understand the, the cost of fabric. Yeah. So. yeah. But, you know, I just I just love quilting. It's for me, it's real, it's a relief and it's just fun. It's fun to be able to give somebody a quilt. But when I die, everybody who comes to my funeral better bring their quilts. Bring their quilts. That's what I want. I want a quilt for you. <laughs> I want it to just be a party of color. <laughs> oh, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, see? So unless unless you were a baby when you got yours, it should be threadbare. Use it. I've only had to repair one quilt really? for one grandkid so far, and she just has loved it to death. And it had like raw edge applique letters on it that say you are my sunshine, and the letters oh. started coming off. But I so I had to fix that one. But so far, that's the only quilt repair I've had to do so far. I have my, I have a grandma, a quilt my grandma did that um, I'm like, I'm going to repair that. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not going to do that. It's just going to stay folded up in the box that it's in. Like, I'm just not. That first quilt I made, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I, I found a book at, at school. I was a teacher, first year teacher. I was working on the coast, well, way over in Eastern Maine. And I only got Canadian TV channels. And, and two out of three. <laughs> and they're French. French. Say right. <laughs> and my French was. <laughs> So I, that's when I started quilting the first time, but um, I didn't know how to actually put the layers together. So literally, I only tied it with embroidery threads at the corners of the blocks, which are like 10 inches apart. Oh, so that poor, and my mom used this thing until she died. I mean, she used it for 30 years. So I have that, and it has some seams that have busted and stuff, but I, and I thought, you know what, I could put that on and re-quilt it, but that kind of takes away the story the of charm. it. So, so I'm not going to touch it. Mm -hmm. I, um, my first quilt I made, I thought I was so good at picking color. It's the ugliest darn thing. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I was thinking. What like, colors are it? It's like a weird... A weird gray, and yes, there's weird gray because it's yeah. like a green gray, yep. but then a, also a weird green and a weird pink. It's horrible. <laughs> it's so ugly. And like uh, the binding, half of it wasn't even like attached. It was just sewn together on the binding, but I missed the quilt. Like, you know, one of those. See, mine is so old that it's going to be on trend here in the next year or two because it's Dutch blue, dusty pink, cream, and sage green. And oh. those colors are all coming yeah, back. Yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back. See, that's what you got to save those quilts. Um, okay, so let's talk about this quilt. Okay. I'm going to start filming. In the, okay. Because we're going to, oh, I guess I can, well, we'll see. Do you want to go over there? Sure. But look at, this is her studio. It's clean. That's as much as you get to see. You can't see the dirty part. That's right. So this is Stars Like Confetti. This is uh, my newest quilt pattern release. So I love designing quilts. Um, I hardly ever make a quilt that's designed by someone else just because I'm really bad at following instructions. Um, but I really like how this guy came out. Wait, oh, wait, wait. She can't follow instructions, but she's really good at writing them. That's the funny thing. I like bossing other people around, Adam. <laughs> Remember, you're my assistant. <laughs> assistant, stop interrupting. So... My favorite block is an Ohio star. So it just features Ohio stars and then all the confetti. And I know it looks a little tricky. This is the easiest quilt. Everyone who's making it, they're having fun and it's, we're just having a good time. So, so stars like confetti. That's what this one's called. 
It's super cute. Um, some of you are doing the quilt along with her. So, like, glad you jumped in. Um, yeah. Let's go. Is there anything sure. else you want to show off in here? I don't think so. Except, like, uh, you know, my featherweights. Feather. Well, we don't want to show all the featherweights because then they'll know you're crazy. But, but this one's my that one's special. One. So this is from 1933. That was the first year featherweights were made. They were introduced at the Chicago, the World's Fair in Chicago. And so I had to work a little bit to get that one. Uh, but yeah, I love all my featherweights. Oh, I did. There are, there's some more. They're kind of cute. Uh, there's the mini quilts from exchanges. Yeah. In case you ever had KO, that's the ceiling. Um, okay. All right, we're going, we're going to the long arm room. Yes, I said the liar. Oh, wait, we have quilts for passing. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this one I made, um, this is fabric that I bought in Guatemala, and I literally only had maybe oh, a quarter of a yard. So I had to use it really sparingly. And then when I quilted it, the, some of the things I thought about, and people always ask me, how do I quilt this thing? Well, some of the things that I remember from Guatemala were iron work, um, and then we saw a coffee plantation. So I put in coffee beans and some kind of designs that look like iron work to me so just kind of a fun quilt i like the bright colors i like the bright colors um and i want you to see this this fabric it's like not traditional fabric it's oh yeah no i don't even like almost like the called. rugs or yeah. whatever that you would see or like what a poncho might be made out of yeah, and it did fray quite a bit but mm -hmm. yeah. but it looks great it looks great in the in the quilt and i quilted it with black so that we'd have that contrast i tend to like contrast if my throat I've noticed in, that. Yeah, I'm a high contrast kind of girl. <laughs> I do that with my fabrics, not my thread. And you know when I noticed that? This quilt right here. Is this oh, a light switch? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Because I remember when you post this, it posted this one. Yeah, so I love this one. So most of the quilt is done in blue, except for this big triangle. Mm -hmm. And that one's done in red, so just to make it pop out. I can't zoom out, so I'm walking backwards. <laughs> so this was actually, this this pattern is probably the only one down here that is actually a pattern that somebody else wrote. So it's called the Colors of Connection quilt. Oh. <laughs> it came out during COVID, and I made it in like, you know, an hour. And then I just had fun quilting it. And so I used all Carly Porter. Most of these crazy blocks are Carly Porter. So what I did was I cropped a block into a triangle, and then I reflected it. Um, and that's how I got those cool designs. Oh, nice. So, yeah, just fun stuff. And see, you can mix and match your Pro Stitcher stuff. Oh, yeah. Get outside your boxes, people. There is no box. There's no box. <laughs> and then this is my long arm studio. My, my probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. This is a, just a fun place. This is a quilt that I'm working on for a friend. Just fun little blocks and a peacock. This quilt over here is called, what is it called? Hmm, I can't remember just right now, but it was in the November, December Quilt Maker uh, magazine. So that was, and I, on that one, that's all free motion and rulers because I wanted anyone to be able to go ahead and redo what I did on that. They're going to say, get closer. I can't see what you're saying, but I know you're going to say, get closer. We can't see the quilting. <laughs> you're so going to say just like that. It's really oh, it's all quilting. diamonds. So, or, yeah, uh, all, that's not a diamond. Equilateral, e equilateral, so, oh my God. This is a triangle. Uh, equilateral, Thank equilateral you. triangles. Yes, it's all triangles. I literally designed that quilt in about 45 minutes. It just, it literally popped into my head and I had it figured out and made it. So, I like this one. Quote. All right. And this one's called yeah. Diamond Lil. That was made with all vintage. That's actually a vintage sheet. So, we talk about can you oh. sew with vintage sheets and stuff? Um, my aunt, those are all things that, fabrics and things from my aunt Thelma's house. And my niece and I have identical quilts. She is also a long armor. She lives oh, really? in Illinois. Yep. We won't talk about what machine she quilts on, but. <laughs> Where in Illinois? Uh, Pecatonica, little town. A north, south, east, or west? North, up by Rockford. Okay. And um, so she and I have identical quilts. We made them together. So I did some of the sewing and she did some of it. Well, how fun. She, I think. On hers, I can't remember if she's got this fab. She might have this sheet or she might have a different sheet. I can't remember. And then I think it's got a sheet on the back, too. Yep. Kind of fun. Holy <laughs> sheet. <laughs> I said sheet. 
S-E-W. Um, and then your Omni, your oh, Omni yeah. threads, obviously. Well, you're yeah. Omni Gale. Now, I, I also have drawers and drawers of thread down here, you know, so all sorts of different Hey, Okay, that's not drawers and drawers. She thought that was drawers and drawers. Oh I, my I don't gosh. Know what to do that, Adam. It's a problem. You have you do. But you do have a nice selection. You have all the colors. Well, and on, honestly, how I ended up with a lot of Omni was that that's the my local quilt shop that's what they carried so when i first oh. started quilting i got a lot of omni now lately i buy all sorts of other things but mm -hmm. i love my omni i use it all the time right and i typically wind my own bobbins too just uh recently i'm only recently using pre-wounds so lots of purple because you know oh that's something else i don't know and then this quilt's kind of fun too this has also a story so my friend becky lockhart was the very first female speaker of the house in utah and um she was a big time quilter and she unfortunately contracted a disease called um Kreutzfeld jakob and she went from being vibrant and running our state to being dead like six weeks later and her daughter donated all her fabric to me and I made this quilt out of her fabric. So it's like it's like having a quilting friend here with me. Oh, I get <laughs> I get choked up, but so that's a special one too. Mm -hmm. What are uh, these? One two? of my very first pro stitcher quilts. Things are even not lined up, but I painted. We them. don't point those out. Oh, oh, there are no mistakes in this. <laughs> <laughs> but I hand painted it and then I quilted it. And then this was a this was You hand painted that? I did. I hand painted that. I can't get closer, guys. I'm on the other side of the long arm. And then this little guy was um, a challenge where I got given a vintage block and I had to do something with it. We're kind of falling down. But instead of tearing apart the block, I decided to keep it as it was. And then I just built the New York. So I designed some New York beauties and stuff to go around it. I think that's kind of fun. I love that one. Um, so do you design an EQ? I, I do EQ. And um, more recently now, I'm using a lot of Adobe Illustrator for my more modern quilts. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll have to learn so, how to do that. I have Adobe I Illustrator too. now. I so I suck at it. I suck at everything Adobe. <laughs> well, so. I'm an Adobe queen. So and, this one's just getting quilted using some fun King Tut thread. What number is that? I can't remember, but it's- Some of them, peacocky. some of them will know. It is very peacocky. This is Arabian Nights, number oh, 935. I, I was gonna do that too. <laughs> Uh, I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. We wanted to talk about Oh, Kay. yeah. So, Kay just, so Kay, some of them might know you because you just taught at uh, QuiltCon, a yeah. very successful QuiltCon, from what I hear. Um, but before QuiltCon, you came out with some new rulers, right? I have two new rulers. So, I have the Stitch in the Ditch XL. So, for those of you who have a little bit bigger hands, I loved Handy Quilters Stitch in the Ditch, but you know, it's, it's only about this long. And I was just, it was frustrating to me. So I, I designed this one a little, bit, a little bit longer with a curve on one edge. So that you've got straight on one edge and curved up here. And, and then I've just got a nice straight ruler because you know what? You just can't have too many straight rulers. And the thing that's different about my rulers is that it's got kind of a, it's got a non-skid um, bottom on it. It's kind of like the Quilter Select. Mm -hmm. And so it's not super sticky, but it's enough so it doesn't go anywhere. So I really like, I'm really happy with them and they've sold really well. Mm -hmm. so. Well, they are Wayna approved. Yes. That's a big deal. Uh, yes. Wayna, um, I said she had them and I'm like, use them and tell me how you like them. She goes, they slide just enough because I'm a, she's a slider. Yep. Um, and that's one of the things that sometimes when you put the sticky back, it doesn't move enough, like, because right. I'm also a slider. Yeah. So, uh, Wayna approved everybody. She gave it two thumbs up. I have only have one thumb right here. Here's one. Here's my other one. So right now they're not online. If you want one, you'll have to message me because, um, I'm actually leaving tomorrow. And so when I'm, if you want one, you're going to wait five weeks. I have to, no, no, just a week. I'm, oh, okay. But, um, I, I have to I have to take everything off my website that has to ship because I actually don't have an assistant. See, I really need Adam around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're teaching next week, right? Are there any spots? Do you know? I think there are. So I am teaching at the Yard Goods Center in Waterville, Maine, next week, and uh, it's a it's a fun shop. So I'll be there on Friday and Saturday. Friday is a boot it's a boot camp for long arm, and so we'll be talking threads and needles and all the fun things. And then on Saturday morning is Pro Stitcher, and Saturday afternoon Pro Stitcher Designer. 
So if you're up in the New England, Maine area, yeah. check it out. Give the shop a call. The Yard Goods Center is what it's called. Um, I will tag them somewhere, maybe, if I can. I'll okay, do it. Yeah. She can go and whatever. Um, anything else you want to share in here? What's your favorite gadget? That's one of my favorite. It doesn't even have to be long arming. What's your favorite quilting gadget? Mm, gadget. You know, I really, I, I love the glide foot. So mm -hmm. I like a lot of quilting gadgets, but I this is the new Glidefoot three from Hand. I was gonna say, and I really like it. It has I have I put that bad boy on, and I don't even have the longer screw. And it okay now you're getting all my lint, Adam. Oh my gosh, you're we're all quilters. We all see that. Um, it has not wiggled one iota since I put it on. So I've been really happy with the Glide if, three. If you get the the new one, so I talked about this on last Tuesday. If you get the new um, Glide foot, it comes with the longer screw. So you're going to take your screw out, put the new screw in because the new screw is going to fit all the way through this because the shaft is extra fat. Um, but I also had mentioned, I'm not sure if you could use that longer screw with regular stuff. I just did like 12 hours of long arm quilting, heavy um, custom on a quilt with the longer screw in my sure foot. It worked fine. There was no issues. So you can leave the longer screw job. always in there. So. That's awesome. And right now this just, so, you know, I, I am using, so don't look at these ones, but I have my quilt loaded with the so tight magnums and I've been really happy with them. So. Do you load your back bar? I, I do. The whole quilt's loaded with them. I've been Do you have really any happy. issues because this is this is one of the questions that comes up. Um, getting uh, them them okay. hitting right here. So sorry, so I'm doing idle or box. Sunk a little bit. When it's it's like when, but what I've learned is just <clears throat> I place them right here and then I go past that spot. Gross. You know, and mm -hmm. and I so yeah they I was really concerned at first because I was afraid that they might come off, but they haven't. Mm. So yeah, no, they're super sturdy. Yeah, they're super sturdy. They're tougher than I thought they would be. And so. you have them sewn into your. I do. Oh, yeah. I have them sewn right in. Yay! Yeah. I use zippers on the last quilt because the the zipper leaders were on. I really like the zippers, see, I so I mix and match. But I, I, you can see my red snappers over there. I, I did was, see them. I was trained up on red snappers, and so that's what I've always mm -hmm. used. But. I've been using the the magnets for about two months now, and I like them. So. Yeah, I really um I loaded my top steel with um my my magnums, okay. and then I loaded the back with the zippers. And you know, if you're searching, if you're quilting, or if you're uh, looking at anything sew tights, uh, if you're at sewtights.com, ASF ten will save you fifteen percent. So or okay, quilting. Oh, do you have a thing yes, there? I nice. <laughs> So yeah, go save some money. They might stack. Oh, probably that would not. be awesome. That would be awesome. They probably don't. Like, <laughs> so all right, anything else before we say goodbye? I don't think so. But I'm not. Thanks for stopping by. It's oh, I'm really no. Fun. Thanks for uh, letting me stop by and giving me my hug and my water. Um, I might have a what is it? A dirty diet? Oh, a dirty diet. Coke. I might have a dirty diet Coke for the road. Oh, yeah. um, all right, guys. We will see you in the flip side. Um, let me see. I don't even know if you can see me, but uh, we'll see you later. Uh, oh, I actually have to walk to the computer. Okay. I can't say bye until we get to the computer. <laughs> what? Now we're going to find out. Don't look at stuff. Don't look at I know, right? No, I would have got a text. All right, here we go. Oh, there we are. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> have a great day. I hope you had fun and you learned something. <laughs> bye.